So I have some students that want to work on their questions uh, over the weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and read it to you so you can get your assignment done. Number one, where is Brian going? Number two, why is Brian not speaking to his mom? Number three, what did Brian's mom give him on the drive up to meet the airplane? Number four, what happened to the pilot as they flew toward Canada? Number five, how did Brian know the pilot was having a heart attack? Number six, what was the response Brian got as he tried to communicate over the radio? Number seven, what were Brian's two choices as he flew in the plane wondering what to do? Number eight, where did Brian decide would be the best place to land the plane? Number nine, what did the airplane do that made Brian realize he had to land the plane? Number 10, where was Brian able to land the plane? Number 11, what did Brian have to do to make it out of the crashed airplane alive? Number 12, what was the secret Brian knew about his mom? Number 13, what attacked Brian as he watched the sun rise? Number 14, what made the mosquitoes and black flies disappear and leave Brian alone? Number 15, how does the forest compare to the city life Brian was used to? Number 16, how old is Brian? Number 17, what advice did Brian's teacher, English teacher per peach give him in school? Number 18, why did Brian think the searchers wouldn't be able to find him immediately? Number 19, what did Brian decide to use as a shelter? Number 20, what food did Brian find to eat? Number 21, how did Brian make his shelter safe? Number 22, when Brian looked in the water at his reflection, how did he feel? Why? Number 23, what did Brian call the berries that made him sick? Number 24, what other kinds of berries did Brian find? Number 25, when Brian ran away from the raspberry bushes after seeing the bear, why did he turn back? Number 26, why had the porcupine attacked Brian during the night of the shelter? Number 27, what did Brian dream of the night he got hurt by the porcupine? Number 28, what was Brian able to use to start a fire? Number 29, what steps did Brian take to make a fire? Number 30, why do you think Brian felt like the fire was his friend? Number 31, what did Brian find at the shore four inches buried in the sand? Number 32, who had laid the eggs? Number 33, how did Brian eat the eggs? Number 34, how had Brian begun to change physically since the crash? Number 35, how was Brian's mind different since the crash? Number 36, what was Brian's plan if he ever heard a plane engine roar overhead? Number 37, as Brian looked over the lake, what did he realize he could eat? Number 38, what was Brian working on when he heard the whine of the plane engine? Number 39, tell me three words that would describe how Brian felt when the plane turned and went away. Number 40, what did Brian use for a string on, a, on his boat? Number 41, why wasn't Brian able to catch any fish when he first made his bow and arrow? Number 42, what kind of hope did Brian find building in him? Number 43, what were the effects Brian had after he was sprayed with the skunk? Number 44, how did Brian make a ladder to get to his food shelf? Number 45, what did Brian do to store the fish so they wouldn't go bad? Number 46, tell me about the event first meet. Number 47, why was it so difficult for Brian to catch a full bird? Number 48, why didn't flies or mosquitoes come into the shelter when the fire was built up? Number 49, when Brian was cleaning the bird to eat it, what did he do with the insides of the bird? Number 50, tell me two of the first days Brian remembered. Number 51, how did the moose react to Brian when she saw him at the water and wanted to come down to the water herself? Number 52, what did Brian have to do to get away from the moose? Number 53, why did Brian feel like he was back to square one after the tornado? Number 54, after the tornado, what unnatural object was sticking out of the water? Number 55, why was Brian anxious to get the survival pack from the back of the plane? Number 56, what is a fish board? Number 57, why was building a raft difficult for Brian? Number 58, how did he solve his problem and tie the logs together for the raft? Number 59, when Brian finally made it to the plane, what was his predicament? Number 60, how was Brian able to get into the plane? Number 61, what did Brian have to dive into the water for? Number 62, what made Brian sick when he was under the water looking for the survival bag? Number 63, how long did it take Brian to go to the plane, get the survival bag, and get back to his camp? All right, best of luck to you. I know you guys will do a wonderful job. I will see you on Monday.